if they could run down Dennis or Chris or both. And oh, Chris, I think he wanted to make over the wall, but he's trapped on the other side, and now he just has to go and fight them. Oh no. Seized Guardian picking up two kills next with a shot on Edward. Great stuff from Nick. Look at these headshots coming through. But sadly, he was out of bullets, and now it's all on Speedy. Six bullets still left here in the 5 7, doing a bit of damage, but very hard for him to win this 1v2. What magnificent air control from Seized to just completely dodge out of Nex's way to level the playing field, basically. That was really sick. But yeah, now it's all on Speezed and a Speezed, Speedy in a 1v2. Seized still alive, yes. Guardian as well. And Guardian with the triple kill so far, so he's definitely done some work. And now, well, it's all on Speedy trying to figure it out, and it's not looking too hot. He needs to find the kit and get onto that site and try and find two kills. Or he could just try, I mean, I don't know, maybe Navi are feeling generous and they just, you know, go ahead and let him defuse. This is, I mean, Navi are playing this one very smartly. I'm, that's a quad kill, by the way, for Guardian. I'm very much a fan. If you're playing in a situation like this, especially because you don't have a kit, that means time is almost always going to be the main factor why you lose the round. So the thing to do probably is just to run in. I mean, it makes sense to want to check all the angles and you would have time for that if you had the kit and you had a smoke and you had some other things going on. When you have any of that, I feel like just go for it. You know, run. There's a 90% there's a chance you're going to lose the round anyway, you know. That's going to be a feel-good moment for Na'Vi, considering how Mirage went, where they just kept running into Mouseport stacks the entire time. Now they've run into a Mouseport stack. Yes, Mouseport's made the correct call again as to where Na'Vi were going to go. But this time they just managed to blow right through it, right? Seized, Guardian, both doing work, Guardian in particular. But now something finally goes Na'Vi's way. So they can start feeling wind beneath their wings, start feeling a little bit better about themselves. And well, it looks like for now, Guardian, he has got that bomb. And it does look like the bomb is going to make its way. Okay. I think, I mean, I think one of the, the big crucial differences is the fact that Chris couldn't make it over that wall. I think if he could have made it back, then they, then that would have been so much better, but it just didn't work out for them at all. Bit of a strange grenade coming in, but I mean, don't think Navi can much at this point. Oh, that's a great shot. Nico taking one out, looking for a smoke. He's got the Mac 10 out now. They do have armor, so it's going to do limited damage, but that's actually just impressive. This is just the duel right now, who's actually going to win out on the mind games, because Na'Vi, they aren't interested in B for now. They're going to give up control of drop room, say, fine, Nico, hold on to it. You got the Mac 10 That's great, buddy, because we're going to go over towards A, where it's only Speedy right now, and he gets flashed full, caught, and Guardian will catch him out in the open. So a four-on-four four now, with Na'Vi just barreling onto the site, but a quick rotation here from Mouseports, and they're actually, they've actually got two guys out on the site already. Yeah, pretty good grenade is there, landing on Seuss. Nico picking up two with the Mac 10 before he finally goes down. And there's a shot from Dennis now. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Seuss out in the open. Oh, no head armor on Dennis meant one bullet was all it took. What a shot from Zeus, though. Definitely thought that uh, Dennis had a strong chance because he had the Deagle as well. Zeus was down to 50 HP. With the Deag, if you get the right shot in there, it's over. It's done. So Zeus had to hit that headshot, and Dennis is going to be kicking himself just a little bit. He knows how close he came to clutching that for his team, and that would have been a huge round. Oh, all right, right. So last time I poo-pooed Nico, right, and say, oh, well, you have a Mac-10. Feel good, right? He still gets two kills with it. And the initial kill has a triple in that round for Nico, so just doing a lot. Four HEs being picked up. They had three in the last round, and it didn't do too much, but um, yeah, sure, if it was a B push, those four HEs could be quite good. Well, I'm a fan of it. Yeah, right now, I mean, right now they need to try and actually get out here and get something done with it, but it's not going to happen. Nico gets caught by Flamey. No heroics from him this time. Guardian just holding down the spray. Next will finally be able to take out Flamey, but it's all action on the A site right now. And while Seized and Zeus will find the last two kills. So four members survive, four Na'Vi. 3-0 lead for them going into Mouse Sports, the first buy round. And is it a double AWP? Nico saved his money. Well, he made a lot of money with the MAC-10, but Chris J also managed his funds. No, straight rifle for Nico. No double AWP right off the gates. Interesting. See how this is going to play out here. Chris was um, he's been pretty good today, I think, with the AWP. He's certainly shown up almost every time. Um, so kind of expect him to do a lot here. And it seems like he's being very aggressive early on here. Wanting to see if he could maybe take a bit of a fight. But even just one grenade there is going to be enough to make him fall back. Guardian is on the other side, but not with an AWP, with, an, with a UMP instead. That's just not as impressive, is it? Mm. No, I mean, Guardian's got the aim, but yeah, where's the AWP, the kind of skimp here, cutting corners? A little bit surprising to see, frankly, because he should have the money for it. 45, yeah, 45.50, so he would have definitely had the money for it. 
He does have more kills than his, his entire, entire team combined, which is kind of interesting. 3-0 uh, and oh at the moment and leading into the fourth round here. It's a bit of a slow start for Na'Vi, but now it seems like they are going to be ready to try and execute right onto this bomb site. Only three people holding. That's not that much for a B bomb site hold right now. Next is getting run down by Flamey, who picks up three kills. Only one of them returned onto Edward, who hasn't killed anyone yet. So it's almost a bit unfair that it happened to be him walking into that bullet. It's just how life is. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> But, I mean, you gotta be pretty happy after the travesty that was Mirage, as far as Navi are concerned. Now you like, actually got four rounds on the board here. I feel like it's hard finding the silver lining and getting shot in the face, you know? You have to be a real optimist to try and figure out how that works. I, there's all in, you know, CS, that's a beauty, right? There's always the next round. That is true. That's one of the redeeming factors, for sure. Chris and Nico are left, and just trying to save the rifles, obviously. A lot of uh, equipment value there, about $11,350 on them right now. So don't want to throw uh, too much of that away, really. Bit of a grenade landing right on Nico, but um, should be fine. Zeus trying, and Guardian adding another kill to the board for Alenda Death, sorry, to the board for him here. But look at Flamey, this is a great play for him. Yeah, just total annihilation. And we that's, did. I mean, it's, he had eight kills, exactly. He had eight kills on map one. I was about to say, like, he just didn't show up at all on Mirage. Maybe he was saving himself. Ah. Is that it, the long con? You know, he's, he's playing a marathon right now. Mouse sports are on a sprint. I feel like we should be careful about saying that because there might be people who believe it. Just like the whole, you know, saving, saving strats for land and all that stuff. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Oh, hi. Good night, Chris J. See, that definitely was not uh, how that was supposed to work out. Speedy's trying to see if he can make up for it, the Max 7, but now that they know it's in here, probably less of an incentive for them to try and go and fight him. He's playing inside the smoke, which is interesting. Is he trying to pick up the rifle? Yeah, he is. Well done. And now, oh, this is interesting. He can actually hold this angle. Smoke is going to go down to block him off, though, and that tells them Navi would have heard it hit, but he still gets the angle right. What a shot from Speedy. Brings it back to a four on four and seized. What can you do but shake your head at that point? Nico looking for a fight with Guardian. He's got to be very careful here. M4 versus AWP. And if Guardian had been looking down into connector, then that could have worked out really badly. Speedy picking up a second kill now onto Seuss. He's definitely stepping up his game a lot right now, Speedy. Impact kills all over the place. Well, Nico still lurking his way out onto the A site. They have no idea. Guardian, he's focused on Balcony. Edward not in position to help his mate. And look at this play. Oh, he what? Oh, just try to style on him, Nico. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. That that looked like looked like it could have been uh, bad potentially, but um, yeah, just a nice nice level of control there. And um, that actually is around the mouse holds win with only one person going down. That's Chris right at the beginning here. That's... Oh, wow. Lots of frustration being shown there. That's a lot of emotion, actually, out of Chris. I mean, well, Chris... Yeah, but that's a, that's a problem. That is definitely a problem. They're coming out of, uh, out of a really big win. You, you know, that kind of emotion should be quite far away in your mind, you know? Yeah. Um... I definitely understand it. For, obviously, that's that's massively annoying, right? But you've got to be able to put that away somehow. Especially because there is a way to jump up there so that you don't jump fully. You jump yeah. into the ledge, and so you don't actually go up. You can still stand up. It takes some coordination with your teammate, but, but I mean, it is possible. So maybe he made a mistake, didn't hit the ledge, and so that's why he went fully up there. And I mean, any number of reasons, right? But Chris realizes now he's in a bit of a tight spot. Smoke is going to go down to block him off, and he decides to just give up the ground. He's not going to stand and fight. By the way, I do want to point out, I'm giving out all this you know, great advice about how you should play mentally and all this stuff. It's not like I play that way, you know, I get really salty when I play. Yeah, except that there's a difference in it. Like, you don't bang your desk or anything. I know when you're getting rage, like when you're starting to rage, when you just get quiet. Yeah. Like, you just progressively get more and more quiet. Which, which is actually, I mean, I guess in matchmaking that's preferable. But in a team, that's another mistake that people can make, is, is they, they stop giving any information. They just exactly. get really angry, so... Yeah, yeah. Well, it's always easier to be uh, on the outside looking in here. Nico going to be going down as Flamey picks up that kill. Good news for Na'Vi. They could reset Mouse Sports this early on. That would certainly be very painful for uh, the CT side. Great shot from Chris, though. Going to be taking down Seuss. Very uh, impressive. 
Looking to get a little bit more, might have overextended a tiny bit then. Bomb is making its way into B, in fact, where the only two members of Mousebots are currently residing, so that might be a bit tricky. Dennis forgets about uh, the plateau, and now Nex, very uh, uncomfortable posi position for him to be in right now. Yeah, this is a bit, uh, this isn't too pleasant, especially because he has to be worried about the guys coming over from A as well. And that's definitely, you know, you can understand Dennis thinking, well, nobody's coming plateau because sure there's a guy drop right if you're going 3a or 4a or whatever if you're if your goal is to go onto the a site then yeah you can i mean mouse sports themselves do that all the time nico yep. just stays in drop room so he kill, he spots the guy in drop he's like right okay i just have to worry about the one guy in drop little does he know guardian is there with the awp and the bomb i mean that's definitely not something that you're gonna, you're going to expect especially after committing multiple people chris would have called out i saw two people on a right after killing a third yeah so he's got to be thinking it's a so yeah so i mean don't don't just like you know bash dennis for Oh, why wouldn't he look at Plateau? Well, because... Yeah, no, I think that's actually a very good point, and that, that, I think that's almost certainly what happened, so... Um, you're, you're dead on, I think. Um, but he was looking really frustrated as well. I'm, I'm worried, like, I mean, I don't want to read too much into it or anything, but, but, but the fact is it's great that we keep having all these emotional reactions, because mm. it says so much about how a team generally, generally is, you know? Uh, and these guys definitely don't seem like people who have just beat Na'Vi on, on a map, and, and in a very impressive fashion you know they 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 seem like uh you know they they just got completely wrecked and now you know the whole team is falling apart it looks like we just had a little bit of a hiccup they're trying to sort it out right now with nico but we should be getting right back into it no time wasted at all like no no break or te or long pause incoming should be all right technical time yeah you're right hmm I mean, the thing is, there's not even that much of a reason right now for Mario Sports to be super tilted. They're 5-1 on cobblestone, so what? You know, they lost a pistol round, so already you're, you're, you're supposed to be quite far behind. Um, all you need is five rounds, maybe in, on, in this half, six things are looking good, seven, and then you're celebrating, right? So somewhere within the five to seven rounds, and, and you could be, you can at least win the game, right? Um, so, so already tilting is a bit too much. What's I've always wondered about this statue. It makes me uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie. What? He's got like this mad chokehold going on. This giant fish. It's like a naked child wrestling a fish. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Actually, you're kind of right. Yeah. What is up with that? Just odd. Just very odd. Um, two AWPs, one Max, seven on Dennis. So Mouse Sports actually going for a bit of a buy-in. Well, Chris running in with the AWP that looked like it was gonna be an even easier shot, but I'm. I'm kind of happy that the first one he got was on Gandhi, and that has to be that has to feel real good for Chris. You know, Caesar's has recovered the AWP. Next, holding close though with that Caesar at 75, he can do big damage. And Dennis, he's been boosted up. Peekaboo! shuts down Flamey. Got that Mag 7 in his face, and now, now Mouse Sports, they've got a great shot at locking this round down. A two-man advantage. One thing that Navi have working for him though is that Edward, he slowly lurked his way out through a halls, and he may be able to catch Nico, but Nico's playing it so safe. He's just waiting, focused on underpass at this point. Edward not going to get a kill for free unless Speedy just runs out into the open. But that's what Navi are counting on right now. Edward, he's so close to just getting fully up onto the site. Does he see the gun barrel if he walks forward? Oh, there it is. Now he certainly does. Nico's got no idea, and this seems like it should be a short kill. He actually left just a single chance there, and now he's covering the doorway. He does have a smoke, and he's going to put it up, even a Molotov as well. Edward, right now, single-handedly winning this round. This is beautiful, because it's such a good example of just what positional play really means and how much of an impact it can have on a, on a round. Because anybody could have pre pretty much got that kill on Nico. It's not an aim question at that point in time. He just had such good positioning, and they're trying to see if they could get in here. Mouse sports are going to be furious about this round, because this was wasn't in the bag, but it was looking very good for them, and now it's not. Yeah, now it's just complete reversal. Dennis has now managed to pick up that AWP. He has something to work with. Attempts the wall bang. Not gonna get it. Won't hit the flick either. And now caesar has got the drop on him. caesar has got the angle. And so a three-on-three -three retake scenario. Now they do have a kit on Chris J. It's a question of whether they want to commit to this or not. They decide to actually just save both AWPs and back off. Give this round up for Na'Vi. And yeah, this is gonna be a bit of a sour round here, a bit of a salty round for Mouse Sports because they have to know that they had a real strong chance of taking it. That's why, I mean, the impact from Edward in that round, that was everything. He may have died in the end, but it was very well played on his part to actually get out onto that site and give his team some room to work with. I definitely feel like right now, Mount Sports are sort of venturing even deeper into the salt mines because this, this, is, this is just not working out well for them at all. Um, 
And you say mines, I think like, you know those those frozen salt pla salt plains? Or dried out salt plains, right? Where you look in every direction, it's nothing but white. There's no end to the salt. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's accurate right now. They need a way out. Any kind of a roadmap would, uh, would probably help at this point in time. 6-1, moving into the eighth round. Yeah, they need like a life coach or something, you know, some 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 happy person to show up and just make him smile a little bit again. Speedy gonna get overrun. Edward quite aggressive here out of the plateau, getting two kills in like that. Nico, they have the two AWPs, and if Navi are silly and don't use a smoke here, it could work out. But actually, look at this. Mouse Ball's gonna try and contest the bomb sign. That's dangerous. Uh, they're going for the big play here. Oh, and the mid shot from Nico, and he doesn't get the follow up either. Flamey will find the headshot. Then it's there to trade, but it's still a man advantage for Navi. A minute on this clock to work with as well. Nice flash, and Dennis is going to find the kill on Edward. That drops the bomb. Mouseport's battling their way back into this. Dennis with another kill. Chris Jay not going to hit the no scope, but Dennis is there with the quad kill to lock down the round for Mouseports. And that's it. They're right back into the fight. <laughs> we have just a very special audience here today. I definitely appreciate that. Um, <laughs> I don't know what Dennis just did, but that's very impressive. And honestly, I was about to say that I thought it was a big mistake trying to do that 3v4 retake. Um, because if you think about it, the last time they were in a 3v3 and they saved the two orbs and they thought that was a good idea. So why would it be a better idea to try and retake the 3v4? You know, there's one guy more you have to kill and you still have the orbs to try and save, right? So the logic just, I don't think, very consistent, but it did work out, so you can't really fault them too much for it either. 6-2, and Ma I still think Mouseport shouldn't be too upset right now. They're, they're playing a pretty or decent game on the CT side here. Just got to keep going. They're definitely putting up a fight. And that kind of round, that kind of win, sometimes you, have to, you just have to go for it. And this time it works. Edward, though, powering forward once again, looking for the shots. And he is, well, it's Flamey who's going to catch Chris J out in the open. And now they have plateau control. So long as that Molotov is standing, though, they are going to be slowed down. Navi, the flashes are starting to come through, but Mouseports are just continuing to take damage. Dennis, Speedy, both low. Nico's got the AWP, but it's a two-man advantage now for Navi. Yeah, and they're so low on health as well. Nico kind of showing up and deciding, look, this is, this is not worth it. <laughs> oh, what? Guardian. Nico. I swear to God, what just happened is... He got shot a couple of times in the back, and almost out of sheer frustration, he turned around and said, you know, are you going to do this to me? And then Guardian says, yeah, we are. <laughs> we definitely are going to do that. Yeah, you're right there. That is frustrating. <laughs> yeah. He heard it on the... Oh, no way. All right, get wrecked. <laughs> Guardian doesn't even look like he's having a good time. He's just like, yeah, I'm not going to accept... I'm not going to accept any guff from you, Nico. I mean, it was bad to begin with, but that... That's just absolutely ridiculous. They go out of winning a 3v4 with some saved AWPs and right into getting completely beat up in the B-bomb site. Edward taking out Nico. Chris with the one AWP here is the hero coming out. Yeah. Seeing if that's going to work. It doesn't seem like it. They are in the wrong bomb site. So things are only going to get worse here for Salt Sports. It's not, not a good time. Ah, <laughs> uh, Chris J. I mean, at least he can hold on to the AWP for the next round. I mean, it's just kind of Nico. I think that was frustration that carried over from the last round. Not really sure he needed to just go for the big step out into the open, donate himself like that, seized, showing that he does have top-notch spray control. And then just a mow down three. And now it's all on Chris, all by his lonesome, all alone, on the plateau. It's actually kind of ridiculous because, well, as a good shot, but he's now getting completely boxed in. If he doesn't take, uh, doesn't kill seized, he's out of it. Good quad kill seized. If I... If the, the sort of body language and the sort of reactions that we're seeing out of mouse sports, if you just showed me, if I didn't know anything about the team, let's say they came in from a different region, you know, we've got the first sort of, uh, you know, team from Iceland or something coming up, and I never heard of them, um, and, and you showed me this kind of body language, this kind of reaction, I'd say there's almost no way this team would be able to function at a high level, but the fact is mouse sports, they are a high level team. They, they sort of routinely upset really good teams. I, I'm starting to wonder now, what happens if they fix all of this stuff? Like, just try and fix the key team chemistry a bit more and, and, and get people into a different mode of thinking, then they could be a very exciting team. I actually am starting to think this might be what's holding them back a little bit more than anything else. A good shot there coming out from Nico, having a bit of a frust frustrating fight uh, from Edward's point of view, but they've also lost the A bomb sign. Yeah, unfortunately, although Nico will find the kill on Seized. Two kills for him so far. 
Still, Navi now that bomb is planted on the A site. Three players remain for them. They only know that I mean they need, they know that Nico's got that AK over towards the apartments and they're trying to deal with it. Flash goes out, but Nico's doing a good a good job of dodging any confrontation for now. And he loses his teammates in the meantime as well. So now all they have to worry about is Nico. Although he does find Guardian. So I mean this guy making it expensive, doing as much as he can. Yeah, absolutely. I mean a good triple kill in a round that that they were never going to have any impact on anyway. So 9-2 is the scoreline now. Still winnable. Um, I mean, the, so the, the silver lining right now, in spite of being, you know, they're seven rounds behind, but the money's not that great for Na'Vi. Only two of them have a really good bank. The rest don't. So if Mouse Sports win this round and the next, probably that's, that's Na'Vi bankrupt, and that will be at a 9-4 scoreline. Then they could probably make a 9-5, and that's it, you know, so... I, I still think they're slightly overreacting, at least if it's the scoreline that's worrying them. I'm guessing it's something else. Um, yeah, I'm trying to put my finger on it as well. Just because that seems like a big gap right there. I mean, that, a big weakness, right, that, uh, that could, try, I mean, could actually get fixed as well. I mean, just don't try not to rage, guys. But, well, there you go. Sometimes that's the way it goes. Next, full flashed. He's going to spot out Edward, though still a free kill for him. Nicely done. And nobody there to really back up Edward immediately. But they will be able to find one kill from the plateau. That's Flamey chiming in. Flamey with a double, in fact, brings it back to a three-on-three. Three. And now it's Nex, still alive and still wrecking. Two kills for him, and he could actually get the drop on Flamey, but no, Flamey, he's too quick. Sadly, that third peak from Nex was completely unnecessary, but um, good job, Speedy, bringing it back a little bit here. He's going to take one down. Now it's a weird one-on-one -on -one between Nico, who does not have an HE grenade. Oh, he walks right into Seized. And that will be the round 10-2. It's such a shame, because next, the first two kills he gets, they're so good. Then he starts hiding back there, and they were playing at 3 versus 2. Why go for the fight? Mm -hmm. He didn't even go for the fight with a rifle, he just went to peek with a pistol. Doesn't even make any sense. But that is something that sometimes that next does, right? He gets that feel kind of thing, where he just starts to to really go ultra aggressive. It's something actually that we've seen with uh, with other players, young players, uh, young Stu, speaking of which, you know, still sometimes decides to take a little bit more of a fight than he really needs to. No reason to throw young Stu under the bus, but he's just the one, first one that came to mind. This time it works for Nico. Also, because I feel like for, for, for Stu, it actually works. Uh, plus, I think it's different. I think it's different if you do this early on. This, this was when you had already made it work, you know? Like, it's already working, so don't continue to try and and push it here. Good shot from Guardian. And a follow-up on Speedy. And a follow-up on Nex as well. Just just Guardian, you know, he's punching the clock. He's ready to work. Basically, yeah. You know, lunch break is over. Time to get back to it. Nico, he's got that AK. There's that little ledge that I was just talking about. Stopped him from actually jumping up there. You can use that to stop yourself from being exposed when you get boosted up. But Chris... We'll see if he can actually make something work here. He's got that P250, so if somebody, somebody decides to actually get in here, that could work. But apparently, Nico has crashed. No, he's back. Oh, yeah. A little bit of a hiccup there, but he's back into it. Guardian going to find that headshot, though. And, well, Chris making a speedy escape. I don't even know. I mean, this is, this is so ridiculous. It really is. But that they are getting quite... Uh, quite drastically overrun on this map. Now now it is sort of out of control. If their if their emotional reaction at this point in the game, th that sort of fits how they they, sh they were acting in the beginning, you know? It's like they from the beginning of the game they felt like they were down 11-2, you know? I do believe that gentleman was here Friday as well. So, good to see him back. Returning fans. Gotta get down on Friday. There we go! Oh, it's Ron, and there's a whole Harry Potter thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love it. Perfect. Brilliant. <laughs> I love the music as well, dude. On point. Dude, oh, th th this has got to be a tactical pause coming out though right now, although maybe not. Uh, is it technical or is it tactical? Because Nico did, yeah, it is a technical one, I guess. Nico has dropped, and he will. He should. He's he's back in the server right now. So I'm wondering what's actually going on here, because this happened earlier as well. Oh yeah, he's buying up now, so we should be able to get back into it. The one thing is, is that the players are talking a lot during a technical. I I mean, 
could definitely hear Navi being very vocal right now. I don't know what kind of conversation could possibly be going on on Mouseport's team here. This 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 is just like a weird team breakdown that again just keeps saying there doesn't seem to be any real logical reason for it. Got the double up set up though, Nico and Chris, and look at Navi how fast they're being, just straight onto the plateau here. A couple of grenades raining on in. Are they going to try and follow up under that? Molotov is sort of slowing them down a little bit. And look at Nico pushing out all the way behind them in the courtyard here. So now this push from Navi really is on a timer. If they don't make it work right now, then they're going to end up getting flanked and that will not be a good time. Oh, well, Navi, they decide actually there's a bit too much heat over here. They don't really want to press through. The problem is that they've used all their nades. So now they literally have no nades left. It's all about the headshots at this point. And Dennis and Speedy, they deliver a couple of them. Zeus will be able to bring one back. But it's still Edward and Guardian, the last two alive here for Na'Vi, versus Chris, Speedy, and Nex for Mouse Sports. And they've got the setup on that B site right now, so if Na'Vi decide to commit, it's going to get hairy. Nico, the flank that he tried to do did not work out. He did not even get a single kill, so that's obviously a big deal. Uh, going to leave them pretty little bit frustrated, but they do have the man advantage, and 45 seconds right now for Edward and Guardian to try and make things even worse for Mouse Sports. Like Even happened. more miserable. The thing is that Mouseports for a while there, for a moment, it looked like they had a read. But instead they decided to put two players back towards B. And they're going to leave the single man, that's Nex, alive on the A site. Edward and Guardian are about to come powering through. Once again, no nades to work with, so they just have to kind of get lucky and spot out Nex. Not sure if Guardian saw him there. But Edward is just running up and, well, eventually they're going to figure out that this guy is somehow over here. And there we go, Guardian locks him down, gets the follow up on Speedy. And now it's just Chris alive in a 1v2. And he knows he's in a bit of a hard place because they've set up the crossfire now, Navi, to hold this bomb site. You will be able to pick up Guardian getting greedy, though. Very good kill, but can you predict that Edward's in the corner? That's the big thing right now. Not so easy at all. He's trying to check as many angles as he can. Maybe getting a bit of a feel for it. He does have a smoke, but no kit, so a couple of seconds more, and this is not even going to matter. Edward's shooting him in the back, and... It will be another round in spite of Mouse Sports having the 2v3 advantage here. The second kill for Guardian, if we didn't have the X-ray on, I'm, this is not an easy position to, to spot someone out in. So very impressive. 12 to 2 and moving into the 15th round and I don't know what to say anymore. Especially because it looked like Speedy actually had the angle already, right? Yeah. So I mean, with how quick these players are, obviously, when they've got that angle, that's where we're talking about them having the advantage because then it comes down to Guardian having to move in there well, and it takes a while for him to move in there to actually take that shot, so kind of caught Speedy uh, sleeping there. Still, it is going to be an initial stack on the B site with four players here from Al Sports. A single solo Nico is alive on A. Once again, playing aggressive. Next, hoping that he could spot someone's feet out as they walk past, shoot them in the ankles. Definitely an evil plan, in my opinion. With the P90 as well. Yeah. It's not going to be a pleasant way to go. But, well, Guardian. He will not manage to hit that shot on Nico. He is going to go for the follow-up, though, because Nico, guess what? Nico, he goes aggressive. He's been spotted as well. And he will eventually get hunted down by Guardian. Action and drop now. Speedy getting caught. Flamey going to be able to pick up next. Speedy with that Max 7 looking to find the shot. And he does bait a reaction, so he knows Flamey is there. The Woodlock saving Flamey for a moment. And Speedy with two big kills. Well, that did not go as I had anticipated. It even looked like Mouse Sports were slightly blocking each other. But now it's a three on three, and again, they get some kills, but it, it comes at the, at the sort of the consequences. They lose the bomb site, and that's a bit of a problem right now. Good shot from Speedy. That's a third kill, fourth kill coming in, and that's another ace. That's two today, just for Speedy alone. And you've got to say, as the player who might have been performing the worst on Mouse Sports, it's a bit ridiculous that he's actually got both the aces that have been picked up here. But um, that's just how it is, apparently. One on Mirage, one on Cobblestone. He is top fragging right now for Mouse Sports, 12 and uh, 0 12. So can't really criticize too much. Very good job on his uh, front there. It's going to be 12 3 for the first half, favoring Navi. And a comeback right now for Mouse Sports is going to be very near impossible. When we get back in the second half, we're going to see if that is going to be possible. Maybe for um, Mouse Sports to drink something that isn't salt water.
are ready here. Second half coming up. It is between Mouse Sports and Navi. And, um, you know, Mouse Sports is a sort of general collective team breakdown. But um, Speedy um, did end up doing quite well. Um, yeah. Second ace of the of the day for himself. It's two against Navi. Very impressive. Um, Guardian on the other side was just all around impressive. I mean, it's just Guardian has now shown up. 21 kills for him so far in the first half. I mean, yeah. we started to see like a glimmer of it at, towards the end of Mirage where he was starting to hit some shots. Now it's like fully entered the beast mode where he's just lighting people up, getting two to three kills around. So that's really, you know, well, obviously increased, increased his ADR. I'm sure it was much lower at the beginning, but towards the end there, he was really just crushing people. So now we have to see. Mouse Sports were able to do it to them on Mirage, where Navi was a very one-sided affair. They just got completely rolled over. Can Navi just pick up the pistol here and steamroll Mouse Sports out of the second map for them of the night? Well, a lot of speed here behind the Mouse Sports team. Dennis charging in to Connector, and Seuss actually now getting flanked. Oh no, he's trapped in his corner, and just way too many targets there. Ends up going down. That's a very nice play. That almost looked like it was uh, designed for that very purpose, like they may have been looking at a couple of demos. No. Oh. Boom. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Sit down. How does it occur to you to do that? Like, it's just, it doesn't even make any sense, does it? Flamey gonna end up going down in a very convincing and very uh, one-sided pistol round there as Mouse Sports just decide to win it, basically. Very good stuff. I do want to say this, though, um, just because we were talking about Guardian. Flamey also essentially has almost double the amount of kills in one half than he had on all of Mirage, you know. He's at 15 um, in, in the first half, so that's pretty impressive. This... All right, then. Unbelievable. And Nico is capable of smiling. I swear, I saw him. I saw him smile there. You know, so it's not it's not all about the, the face palms. He can actually show a positive emotion. Uh, now, I mean, it's a long way. It's a long way to be smiling for a win here because Navi still have a pretty big lead. Dennis holds his own and drop picks up two kills. And Edward will eventually shut him down, but it's a man advantage here for Sports, moving out on towards that A site. Navi, however, with the quick rotation over, they're ready for this. They have all three players here. So let's see, can they actually do anything? Guardian with the headshot on Spitty, but Nico with the trade kill on him. He's coming in from behind. It's a bit of a shame they did have a pretty good setup there, Navi, but it felt like they were maybe a bit too aggressive. So they do a little bit of economic damage to Mouse Sports, but the scoreline is going to be 12 to 5. And. Yeah, the money right now, Navi, obviously not enough to go for any kind of a buy. So should be another round uh, almost for free here for the Mouse Sports team. What is the shot, Nico? Let's see. Well, still just building his money right now. Edward is the one with the most money on Navi's side, though. Is Guardian managing his economy right now? Yeah, he's up to 3,500. Okay, three, or 3,500 or 50. 3,050. He'll be all right. He'll have that up. Dennis is going to be taking down one, and actually three, like that. Rolling through the bomb sites with the Mac 10 all day, every day, it seems. And, well, they do eventually steal it. Wow, Edward sharing. Hands it over to Seized. Well, if they're going to go for a double setup, it would be slightly better if Seized could get the kills here. Mm. So, maybe there is some, you know, logic involved in what's happening here. That, or they just want to save a Mac 10 for the next round? which is um, questionable. It's a long mission now towards the halls, basically, where they hope to be able to catch somebody on Mouse Sports' side. If they can get a kill with the Mac 10 Groovy, if they can get one of those AKs off of Mouse Sports, that would be even better. So we'll see. I mean, Nex is kind of just running around. He's making lots of noise and seized. He's in a good spot here to get a drop on him, especially with Edward trying to bait the reaction with that knife out. Yeah, but I feel like that's so obvious. Like, I think the, the, as soon as you peek with a knife like that, they're gonna, they're gonna, they should be checking all the corners and seized. Jumping the gun a little bit there. Good round for Mouse Sports. Only losing Dennis, who did pick up a great triple. So, 12 to 6 now. Inching closer. Navi just in four rounds. Uh, T side, and now we we'll perhaps see a bit more of the influence here from Kassad, the coach who's recently been picked up from Mouse Sports, as you were saying as well. Old teammates of uh, Nico and YNK. YNK, the analyst. The weatherman, also. The weatherman. But uh, yeah, Mouse Sports now, I mean, I, it is just one round at a time. That's the mantra at this point that they just have to be repeating to themselves. One round at a time, don't look at the scoreboard, just play your game. 
And if you can keep the pressure up on Na'Vi by getting these picks, then Na'Vi are always going to be in a weird economic situation. Right now, though, they've got the money for Guardian and that AWP, and Nico's taking a lot of damage. I feel like because it's, it's always it's always struck me that that YNK does just sort of feel like a you know like a Serbian you know hitman kind of kind of character. So if you call him the Weatherman, it does sound of, kind of sound like an episode of Blacklist or something. I don't know if you've seen that show, but it could have been something like that. You know, good good little nickname even for a hitman. I feel like. 19th round is coming up, and um, we'll see. Zeus not flashed at all. Going to be picking up a good shot there on Speedy, but cannot follow it up on next. So quick trade here. Going to be favoring Mouse Sports even a tiny bit. That AWP on Guardian is what I'm really curious about. Yeah, look at that, man. The Guardian's getting into that mode where he's just like, actually, I'm going to come and look for the fight with you. I'm not just going to sit and patiently hold an angle. Nope. He got that smokes, and so he knows that they are trying to commit to this site. And he's going to get into position to look around it. He knows that they're going to be coming by Woodstacks. Dennis, is he going to be prepared for this? Yes, he is, because he dies. Only option there. He did have the the right angle for it, but um, just not quick enough here. Nico coming in from behind, picking up one good shot there. Next, going to be going down, and that might have settled it. And Guardian, no issue at all, it seems. Triple for him. That's when it just starts getting to monster mode. And Nico, man, the frustration for him there, it's got to be so, you know, piquant, right? You know, Salt Lake kind of uh, sort of situation because he's, he's obviously trying to push up the balcony to gut Guardian, to catch him out. Only problem is Guardian's a step ahead, pushes into the smoke and just flanks his teammates. So, Mouse Sports now. They do have the money to go for the buy, and they should actually have quite a bit. Of, they still have three players with quite a bit of money, so. It's not over yet for Mouse Sports, but Navi are one step closer to locking this down. Interesting decision by Seize to go for the MP9. Definitely. Nico anticipating that someone would boost behind, but um, not entirely true this time around. What's the money like for Mouse Sports? I'm curious because, yeah, so both teams are in a position where if they lose the round, um, oh. they're going to be echoing significantly worse for Mouse Sports since that would probably put Navi on match point or map point here. Um, so don't wanna don't wanna get into that kind of territory right now. Oh, it's gonna be boost time though. There's Nico trying to set up the flash, putting some pressure over here at drop. No Waylander to wreck him this time. <laughs> but there's a boost. Chris J boosted up, looking onto plateau, hoping that somebody's gonna get greedy, go for that peak. Flamey is the one playing plateau here for Navi. And interestingly, this is a boost that actually was sort of made popular by Cold Sierra on, on LG uh, before this map was changed. Now that it's changed, it seems to be even more relevant. Oh, that was a close one. Might have just worked. Seized, however, will win versus Nico. And now he trades up, gets that AK for free. That's exactly what he was looking for. And now a man advantage here for Na'Vi. Mouse Sports no closer to getting onto the site, but they're deciding to do something about it. There's the incendiary, gonna force Flamey out. He's dancing on the edge, looking for the wood stat for the first shot, and Guardian's gonna land it. Flamey with a shot, following it up, actually making it a double for himself, and now Speedy, 20 seconds, 1 versus 4, that was never going to happen. It will be 14 rounds to 6, favoring Na'Vi, and the money not there for mouse support, so if they force up a Tech-9 armor, I don't think that's better or worse than, than doing, than saving, like if there is no like right or wrong choice, it's just a, just a gut feeling at this point here. It still feels very much like Mouse Sports on Cobblestone are so heavily reliant on Nico having an impact from drop. They're like doing something, right? But if he gets bested the way that he just got shot there by Seized or by Waylander earlier on in Cobblestone, or like earlier today, versus Flipside, I mean, when Nico gets shot down over there, it really does seem like Mouse Sports tend to struggle. Oh, well, next. Already a bit low on health. Some good counter grenades coming out here, just trying to block uh, Mouse Sports in, but Dennis is down and already trying to see if he can sneak around that smoke. Zeus is on the other side, and next is going to be going down. Dennis, speedy to follow, just no luck at all, it seems. Nico doing a bit of damage, but he's already so low on health, it seems impossible. And indeed, it will be 15 6 here, map point for Navi. And they, they just have not given any breaks to Mouse Sports on this map at all. Just complete opposite. This would be t this would be balance, right? Navi win 16-6 on Cobble. Mouse Sports they won 16-6 on Mirage. And we would I mean, it would be one of the more even groups that we've had so far at Ely because everybody's yeah. one one pretty much right now. I mean, Mouse Sports the ones to pull ahead two one. Chris G, no, I mean he's got seven kills right now out of 21 rounds. Just starting on the 22nd right now. Guardian on the other hand, they're nearly a 30 bomb for him. 
So, I don't know. I feel like Mouse Sports mentally surrendered sort of four rounds into this map for no apparent reason. Yeah, that was very curious. They were showing a lot of emotion. Even when, they, when the score wasn't that bad for him, you're right. So, I mean, definitely something to think about. We shall see, Flaming. Just throwing down the incendiary. He wants to try and buy a little bit of time here before Nico can actually put the pressure on. But they're so limited on the nades right now, Mouse Sports, with this force by Tech Nines. Just a couple nades left to work with here. And it is looking like they want to wind up on that A site. Bomb is ready and waiting. Oh, that is a good shot for Nex. Dirty Deagle coming through. Seuss hiding in the back lines, which is not actually that great a position when you've lost control of middle. That just means you're going to be taking an awkward fight next to a barrel that you can't really move away from. He's got almost no space to move. Still picks up the one kill. Nico going to be going down close range there. Guardian with a shot, but Chris with a scout in return. And at least, I was going to say they should be getting a bomb plant, but Flamey, he's got uh, other opinions about that one. Speedy going down, and that will be the map. 16-6 in favor of Na'Vi. 29 kills for Guardian at the end, and just seemed to be pretty much no contest here for, for Mouse Force. They just had no chance. No, that was the small victory, though, is that they stopped. At least they stopped Guardian from getting the 30 bomb. Silver lining. Silver once lining. Again. Exactly. You know, he got the first two, made it look good. Good team play as well. Zeus watching his back, watching Balcony, so Guardian could focus on the exit from A long. So, I mean, solid work, but in the end, Mouse Sports get obliterated on this second map. But we have to remember, they obliterated Navi on Mirage. So, fair balance between both of these teams, actually, surprisingly enough. To some extent, yes, but I mean, I, I definitely feel like um, there needs to be sort of a mental change. Life coach, do some, do some yoga, something that makes you happy like that, I don't know. Um, that, that's, that's, that's way too quick of an emotional reaction. I'd love to see uh, what the panel says about this, though. I mean, if they notice something similar in the body language and all that stuff, we'll definitely get their opinions on them right after the break. Um, yeah, the final analysis coming up.